Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. Hope you're doing well. So today's video, I got a couple projects to try and tackle. Uh, now the initial plan was to get this rabbit house moved up into the coop. That may still happen, you'll have to stay tuned for that. But there's a couple little things that need to be done before that happens. For one, the weather has to improve, but uh, that's outside of my control. We are expecting some rain there now shortly. Uh, it was pecking a little bit earlier, but we'll see how that turns uh, as time goes on. But the rabbit coop itself, you've seen last video, I built the uh, platform which the rabbit house is going to go up on. And I mentioned how I'd like to get some exterior paint put on that just to help preserve the wood. And I said how I was feeling lazy. Well, I'm still feeling lazy, but the exterior paint needs to go on it. You know, when you're investing this kind of resources and money into building projects, that extra step of preservation and protection is, uh, is really monumental in making sure it lasts. So I'm going to have to bite the bullet, get up there, slap some paint on that thing, and, uh, and just put a layer of protection on it. All right, so that'll be number one. The second item on the list is the lid for the rabbit house. It's a basic uh, cover of plywood and what I've discovered in using the rabbit house here in the garage is that when the feeder is on the door and the water bottle is on the door and the lid is on, inside the bays, I'll call them, or little hutches, it's quite dark and gloomy and you know that might be fine for a rabbit who has you know a, an instinct to be a burrowing animal but putting human characteristics onto those animals you kind of like to brighten up their day a little bit so I think we're probably going to put in a couple little skylights I'll call them onto the lid so that uh, each of the four bays has a little plexi window over the top of it and uh, let some light down into it you know just one of those added little features part of the you know evolving uh, project as it were all right so that's where we are with that that's what I'm going to try to get done today is the paint and the skylights and if the paint dries and everything in time and weather cooperates and uh, all that good stuff maybe I'll get to do the actual move of the rabbit house uh, not something it's kind of something I'm, I'm hesitant on because you know, getting this rabbit house moved across the land after all the work I've put into it. The last thing I want is for it to topple and fall or crack or something bad happen to it. So there is that bit of hesitancy uh, in the whole process. So. so here we are. Let's head on up to the rabbit coop. I'm going to get my painting supplies together. I've already got my painting clothes on. Um, you know, unfortunately this used to be really nice clothes, but you know, when you drag your body across the dirt so many times, it ends up becoming work clothes. So here we are. All right, so let's head out up to the coop and start getting some paint on that platform. I'll see you up there. So welcome up to the coop. You're probably wondering why I have the cat carrier, but if you're a semi-long viewer, you know full well that I brought this up because there's a rabbit that's going to be going in here in a second. So, like I say, I got four bays. I got that divided up into the two middle ones, got two does each. The end one has Smokey, the new uh, discovered doe, and uh, Cookie is in the other. So. As of right now, Summer, our other buck, is freely traveling. Not so freely traveling anymore. <laughs> down on the ground. So I'm going to put Summer into the cat carrier so that he's not out running around while I'm trying to paint. So that's the whole purpose of bringing this up right now. Is to uh, give him a spot so he's out of the way. Not getting full of paint. Not running off into the wild. All that good stuff. 
So I'm just going to put them in there. And then I'll lay him aside out of the way and, uh, and we'll get to work, right? So here's the platform that I built last video. I'll uh, just review that real quick and then we'll get to the painting. So this is the platform that I made last video. It's uh, 30 inches by 90 inches in size. And it turned out quite well, I must say, right? Like I can, I can easily jump up on this. It supports my weight, no problem, right? I feel quite secure on this. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm the better part of 200 pounds. So I got no, no issue with putting the rabbit house up onto this platform. The weight will be spread out across the whole length of it. And uh, all in all, quite pleased. All right, so there's your demonstration of how confident I am in this platform. If it's a uh, misplaced confidence in the future, so be it, we'll figure it out. But anyways, I need to get this painted so that it stays preserved and in best condition as possible for as long as possible. I'm going to be painting it with a brush because I have all these little nooks and crannies to try and get down into uh, as a result and I can't really paint over through the mesh obviously that's on the other side so I'll just be uh, picking at this and uh, see how it goes. So there you have it. Um, hopefully it's a bit of a humid day you know like I say it's uh, been trickling rain here and there so I don't know what the drying conditions of the paint will be like in that atmosphere but we'll find that out as we go. So. That's it. I uh, set you guys up now and I'm going to start painting and wish me luck. Hopefully I don't uh, fill the mesh full of white paint without trying it. Yeah, we'll see how it goes.
Alright, so this far in now, and having had uh, a heck of a time putting on that first coat on the support runners, basically just grinding my hand against the mesh there, almost, uh, it would have been just as well if I got a sponge actually instead of a brush, and uh, just sponged it on, it would have probably been the easiest way, but I uh, ended up using the brush almost like a sponge and cupped it in my hand and just wiped the paint on down to uh, between the mesh and the board. So instead of continuing right now and doing the tabletop here section with the first coat, I'm actually going to let that first coat dry on the support beams and uh, get the second coat on that before I go and do this tabletop because I do need to get up onto it in order to properly reach down and paint the, uh, the runners. So I'd rather just have a wood finish, not worrying about if the paint is wet or if I'm sticking to it or, you know, because there are a lot of screw holes where the paint is going to go down and stay in for a length of time and be wet. So I'm going to let that first coat dry, I'll do the second coat, and then I'll move on and do the actual platform section itself. So that's my current plan. So I'll do that second coat off camera and bring you guys back when I'm ready to uh, do the upper platform section. Alright, so off camera I got the second coat done on the support beams. Uh, the back of my right hand feels like I've run it through a cheese grater. And I ended up, I'll be honest with you, I resorted to monkey painting. And if you're not familiar with what monkey painting is, you pretty much take a scoop of it and you smear it on. Alright, so that's, that's what I ended up doing with the white paint. I, uh, there was areas I just took a scoop of paint. I reached in over and I just smeared it on and I'll be honest it turned out pretty nice <laughs> so uh, anyways that much is done now we're ready to do the top of the table uh, the platform I call it I don't know what the silky chickens are going crazy about over there but they're just making a racket all of a sudden but uh, yeah I'm gonna set you guys back up again I've gone through I don't know, probably at least eight pairs of gloves. The wrists are just coming off this. I got a, a patch of paint, which is like plaster there now. Um, so that's going to be a whole lot of fun to take off later with all the, the hair there. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what's going to happen there. Hopefully water and dish liquid will cut into it a bit. Alright, so now finally I'm at the easy part. And um, let's say all that's done with a second coat, it's not getting a third. Uh, if it gets a third, I'm going to have to go two hands deep. We'll say that. Alright, so uh, yeah, let's get to it. Hopefully there's not any wind noise coming at you there now. There's a bit of a breeze from this direction. But uh, let's get this tabletop platform painted. Get a second coat on. And uh, that may be the end of today. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I always overestimate how much time I, I got, I think, but uh, I do have a prior commitment that I have to go to this evening, which will clue up the day, so depending on how close I get to that, we'll determine if we get at the chicken coop, uh, or the, the rabbit house lid, putting in the skylights, so. Alright, painting time again. Maybe now you see why painting is really not my favorite activity. Alright, let's go.
All right, so the first coat is good. Uh, it's still a little tacky, but the rain has started outside. I don't want to have to pack everything up and come back and do this again. So I'm going to go ahead with the second coat now, and then we'll let it dry in between now and next video. So that's going to be it for this. I'm going to, like I say, get the second coat on now real quick. And um, unfortunately, I think that's going to be it for today. All my previous arrangements are catching up on me and I'm running out of time. So uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm doing a very, um, let's call it rudimentary way of, uh, of spreading my paint. Pretty much just uh, creating a puddle, spreading it with the uh, roller and calling it done. So that's, that's the level of precision I really want with this job. This is just a quick job to get a coating on this. It can be a thick coating, whatever, as long as it dries. So between now and next video, it should dry. So I'll go get this spread and we'll be done. Well, there you have it ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed that today. Definitely not as many tasks checked off the checkbox as I would like to have done. But, uh, you know, I did clean out the bays in the rabbit house today. I did that off camera before I even started filming. And we got the platform with two coats of paint on it. You know, it's overcast, rainy out there now. And, uh, you know, anything done on a rainy day is uh, especially important because I've been kind of held hostage by the black flies lately. The flies have been swarming, crazy, couldn't do anything yesterday, put on uh, repellent with 30% DEET and no luck there. <laughs> they still wanted to bite through it. Uh, picked up a bug zapper with hopes that maybe it'll cut down on their numbers a bit. We'll see how that goes. But overall, you know, things have just been conspiring uh, against me a little bit and uh, motivation has been lacking as a result so but on the bright note my leg has been uh, progressing and healing um, still being very cautious with it though I don't want to uh, trust it just yet to do anything you know strenuous um, but it is healing I'm getting back to a normal way of walking uh, without so much as a, li a limp and without uh, too much pain and the bruising is reducing so all good things. I still got tendonitis in the right arm. I don't know when that's going to take a hike. Hopefully soon. It's getting pretty annoying at this point in time. But uh, that's that. And there you have it. Painting is done. Uh, next thing, uh, you, well you already know, don't you? Um, putting skylights into the lid of the rabbit house and uh, getting the rabbit house up into the coop. Those are the next things on the list. Among many that manage to rear their head as the days go by. But as far as this video goes, sorry so short, maybe that's a good thing. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Join us on the next one. And until that next one happens, hope you're happy, hope you're healthy. Take care of each other, and peace out.